Okay, the last heat problem that we're going to deal with is page 243-244, exercise 14C, heats of reaction. The thing to remember about this is that there's lots of reactions that produce heat, and many others require heat. Producing heat is, you know, propane tank. Require heat is one of those uh, uh, bags that you get put on a on a bruise whenever you need to get the reduced swelling. In order to understand what's going on, you want to use the perspective of actually standing on the arrow of the reaction to decide. If you're standing on that era, uh, arrow and the reactants react, the products are made in heat is produced and leaves the reaction. Heat is a product here, so the heat exits the reaction. This is called an exothermic reaction. If the two reactants need heat from the environment to come into the reaction in order to make the products, okay, then heat is a reactant and heat enters the reaction. We call that endothermic. All right? Now, in order to do the calculations, this is really pretty simple. Since heat is either a reactant or a product, you can use it just like it's an actual reactant or product, and you just use the heat to mole ratio, and different reactions have different heat involved. So these problems are really very simple. How much heat is produced when 7.3 moles of O2 reacts? There's the reaction. There's the heat. So obviously this is an exothermic reaction because heat is produced. And then down here, how many moles of O2 will, will be consumed if this much heat is needed to burn some butane? Same kind of reaction. You have to do a heat to mole ratio. So hit pause, try a heat to mole ratio. We'll come back and give it a go. Okay, there's pause. All right, you're back. We got one number in the problem, 7.3 moles of O2. If two moles reacts, this much heat is produced. That's the ratio. It's the same as if you said if two moles of react, two moles of this reacts, then one mole of that is produced. So what's the difference? Heat is where we need to end up, so it's a heat to mole reaction. Two moles of O2 reacts to make this much heat. Okay, that's it. 2 sig figs in my answer. So, a simple calculation says 7.3 times 882 divided by 2 is equal to 3219.3 is what my calculator says. We need to be left with kilojoules. This is 3 sig figs, this is an infinite sig figs, and this is 2. So it's going to be 2, so we're talking about 3.2 times 10 to the 1, 2, positive 3. That's how much heat is needed. All right. Second problem. We've got one number. 5.32 times 10 to the fourth joules. This time we're going to compare the joules with uh, moles of O2. And that's a heat to mole ratio. But that's kilojoules, so we better get our kilojoules to joules calculation. What's bigger, kilo or just the thing? Kilo's bigger takes a whole bunch of little things to make one kilo. Don't mix those up. Okay. Now we can do 13 moles of O2 for every 5721 kilojoules. Kilojoules cancel. Everything cancels except the moles of O2. This is an infinite value. This is 4. This is infinite, and this is 3, so we're talking 3 sig figs in our answer. Plug and chug. 5.32 times 10 to the 4th 
divided by 1,000 times 13, the heat to mole ratio, divided by 5721, and I get 0 0.121 moles. Those are as simple as it gets. It's just like a mole to mole ratio, only heat is either a reactant or product. Okay, crank at that. Good luck.